if you jab against Butterbean, you will land the punch. But people do that for a couple of rounds, and then ultimately, of course, he's fighting. Oh, oh it take long. Oh, it, it didn't take, take long. long for oh, Butterbean cool, to floor. Cool. I don't think he's dog. with us. That's he's it. Out. He he's out. out. On his feet, he's out. I am. That one punch is all it took, one punch. Butterbean's still going after he's Still wants to beat him off. Because he told him he was going to take care of business. Now, Frank's idea is stay away, jab, don't give too much ground, and hope to fight him later in the fight. Good right hand, right out of the box, down goes Frank. Right there. Right there. First punch of the night. You know, when a fighter takes a fight on only seven days' notice, you think he might come out and take his shot early because conditioning will be a factor later. Here, he doesn't take a shot. He looks, he waits, hesitates, and bang, he's caught. And he is hurt, too. It's over. Well, he didn't give the right answer. No, no. It's that simple. I'd, I'd have probably gone for the state instead of the city there. It wasn't even close, though. You tell me what you're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to jab to the head, then I'm going to throw eight to the body, and then I'm going to move after I hit and punch the body. What are you going to do when you get inside? I'm going to open up like a son of a bitch. What a bonus for the crowd here in Wisbeach to see, for my money, the most exciting prospect in British boxing at the moment. Nigel Benn in the golden trunks, and that is one punch, and Ian Chandler is down. He's very close to us, and he will not get up from that. I hardly had time to get the sentence out. Don't go away, because Nigel Benn in the golden shorts has a habit of ending things very quickly. One five out of five, only had nine rounds. The last two opponents have lasted two minutes. And Leon Morris, I don't think he made 10 seconds. And I'm sure he is not gonna beat the count. He is out and it is good night, Leon. Jimenez and sich auch gerne die Cobra. Und der möchte Harry Geier und die gibt seine Team. Und da ein Niederschlag, direkt ein harter Treffer an den Kinnwinkel von Harry Geier. Und oh, das sieht ganz schlecht aus. Harry Geier, er kommt nicht mehr auf die Beine. Ich glaube, der Kampf ist aus. Er fällt wieder um. Der Kampf ist vorbei. Trying to collect as much experience to be as ready as he can be once he makes it to the top and gets a shot. And it may be quicker than we imagine. Seconds into the fight and it is Marty Jenkins, you have seen one of the quickest knockouts in pro boxing history. Draw and a heck of a look at ring attire and we're underway. Here we go. Oh, oh. I'm right out of the gate. The fastest no, knockout I've ever seen in my oh, life. My. He's he's not going to make it. A one, one second, second knockout just been submitted to fight facts. It's perhaps the fastest knockout in boxing history. He was on a roll. He had won seven in a row by knockout. And now, Frank Frenzy with the first punch. And that looks like it over. is it. Why is the referee counting? You don't have to count on that. This fight is over. The referee counted him out. Dry, Steve. He's in the red. We should mention the guy in the electro. She almost it wasn't a double knockdown it was a knockdown as Bundridge went down and Powell slipped and it's ruled no knockdown wow. oh, a, le a massive left hand by Powell and Bundridge is out of it he is out of it one of the most astounding it looked like the Zab Judah fight unbelievable that Bundridge, was he was the neck he went down three times in 20 seconds I've never seen anything like it.